Hey my dogs, it's JDog Gaming here today. We're back with Tyrena and yeah, so this is episode three. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, and subscribe if you're new to become part of the dog pack, and comment down below what you have liked about the series so far. It's been doing very well and I thank you for that and let's get into it. There was none. The entire city was completely silent. Yobat and I were the only ones moving. Everything else was still. We stopped for a bit to rest. It has probably been hours since I've been walking and I'm getting tired. Suddenly, Yo Yobot hovers quickly in front of me. Um, Yobot? Is something wrong? Yobot was definitely trying to tell me something. He was shaking and jumping around all over the place. He then pointed at something behind me. Oh my gosh. I sensed a presence behind me and turned around to find myself against this. Ah! What the heck is this thing? I tried to run away, but I was trapped between a wall and this thing. It came to me. Closer and closer. I was panicking. I didn't know what to do. Am I gonna die here, right now? While panicking and without realizing it, I instinctively put my right hand in front of me to try to protect, to try and protect myself. Obviously, it wouldn't help much. However, something unexpected happened. Oh no! What the heck? I'm assuming he's gonna shoot him. Let's see what happens. Huh? What is happening? Is it kneeling to me? Wait. I am controlling it. I see. So that must be it. The power I received. The power to control. Technology. In a world where humanity is too dependent in technology to survive, that day, that day I received this object, I can now control technology. I can move now, control mankind's strength, and make it a weakness. I am the chosen one to lead the humanity. I finally have the power I need. I finally have the power that I was looking for. And so, that day, I decided to change this world. Well, then, I have waited a long time. Do, 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 do. I know this music from somewhere. What is gonna happen for this moment? Oh, he looks so awesome in this picture. This is like really cool art here. Oh, there's a guy. Another guy. And a girl. Oh, no. I got sniped. <laughs> I feel sleepy. Oh, it was oh, it was a sleep dart thing. Like a tranquilizer dart. It was a tranquilizer dart, but for humans. My head. It hurts so much. What just happened? Why am I here again? I don't have much I don't have much time, but I must warn you. Huh? What is happening? Am I in danger again? You are about to enter an, an inescapable chain of events that will lead you to a dark path. What? You will become Huh? I will become what? Hey, who are you? This voice. Who is it? Oh, I wonder if it's his uh, girlfriend. That would make it. Or maybe the ancestors of the girl girlfriend. Oh, I'm, now there's so many conspiracy theories I have. I woke up. I woke up 
in an uncomfortable position in a tiny dark cell. Ouch! My head! What just hit me? Edo? Is it really you? Huh? There was a dark figure in the room. We figured that seemed familiar. <gasps> you. I know you. It's me, Mara. Oh, snap. Something just went down. Mara. If I remember correctly, you're my brother's girlfriend, right? Oh, it's someone else. Wait. <laughs> huh? Oh, wait. Huh? Wait, no. No, I'm not his. Oh. I was sure that you two were. You were always with my older brother. Before he left. That is. Like I said, I'm not his girlfriend. Not yet. Oh, snap. Just because I spent a lot of time with him doesn't mean. Well, if it's that. The, if that's the case, then are you that girl's boyfriend? Energy? She went missing since the attack. I see. Sorry then. Wait, how did you survive all these days alone out here? All these days? So I guess I was unconscious most of the time without even realizing it. I don't know how I managed to survive out here, out there. It appears that I was unconscious most of the time. I wasn't alone, though. Yobot was with me. Yobot? You mean the round, fat robot? Yeah. Him? I think he was looking out for me back then. Even though we can't do much, he's quite a smart drone. Maybe even do smart for a robot. And now I'm here. Also, why the hell am I in a prisoner's cell? Huh? Oh, that. How do you just forget? How do you forget that you're in a prison? I don't get that. All right. I don't know. My comrades found out you, find you out he, out there and brought you here. I was told not to let you go for some reason. Mara. Seriously? What the what the hell did I do? And are you a terrorist? Me? A terrorist? Of course not. You sure look like one. I... I am a freedom fighter. I am a part of a small military militia group fighting in the front lines of the United States of the United Republic in order to defeat the evil tyrant. It's just a matter of ideologies. So... Why did you take part in this messed up war? I... I... It's personal. It has something to do with your brother. He promised to never leave and stay by my side. But he lied. And I heard that. He... I heard that he joined Tyrana. <gasps> Snap! Oh! Since then, I have joined the militia trying to find him. An answer as to why he broke his promise to me. Wait, what? Why would William ever join Tyrana? Like I said, I'm not sure if it's true. We shouldn't jump to conclusions yet, but I still need to try and find him. Mara, what are you going to do when you find my brother? I... I would probably hug him like a teddy bear. <laughs> like a teddy bear? <laughs> Okay, I'd probably kick him real hard in the balls for leaving his family. <laughs> That's gonna hurt. I see. So he's family to you then. Somehow I feel like you two get along quite well. Whatever. So, Mara. Could you please let me out of the cell? I'm afraid I can't. My boss told me you were doing something out of the common. It seems that he was able to control a knight. If it's true, this can change the war completely. Could you at least untie my hands, please? It's starting to hurt real bad. I'm afraid I can't do that either. Now that I take a closer look, what is the, the, that thing in his right hand? Even if we are old friends, I must obey my orders. 
My boss also seemed frustrated with you when he brought you here. I don't know what you did, but it must have been really serious. I see. So you're the type to obey everything you are told. <laughs> Putting orders before your friends. You're just a faceless soldier. You're just as bad as William. I'm doing this for the greater good. So does that justify your actions? What? It's not like I killed you or anything. But I'm pretty sure you did kill people. Whether if it's shoulder, soldiers in a battlefield or innocent people in a town. Those who obey orders without a second thought are nothing but puppets to the higher-ups. Preach, man, preach. What is wrong with him today? He's usually not like this. Is he mad because he was unable to break that, that girl? Yeah, he is. Isn't this the reason why I joined the militia? What am I do? What, what am I doing? Is it right? That boy? Just who is he truly? I. Ooh, th this guy seems like Ralph. So I have to give him a different a different voice. Enough with the useless talk already. Pardon me, sir. Mara, leave the room right now. Yes, sir. Well, then, we have a lot to talk about. I'll be honest with you, young boy. I hate to use violence on a kid in order to get what I want. But if I have to, I'll do it. Don't think wrong of me. Besides, Tyrone has sent a young boy like you as a scout. Isn't that more awful? What? I'm not a Tyrone scout. I'm a survivor of the attack. That's what they all say. Anyway, I've got a few things to ask. First, how did you manage to take control of the night? Scouts never do that kind of thing. Like I said, I'm not a scout. And what night? Don't tell me you don't know what a night is. Everyone in the army should at least know what a night is, especially if the one if one is a tyrant tyrant a soldier. I'm not a ty I'm not a Tartarian. Technically, that was a lie because I'm indeed a Titanic. <laughs> but I'm definitely not fighting for it. Okay, little punk, just tell me how did how did you make that damn robot kneel at, at you? Oh, the robot. I don't know. This thing in my right hand. Huh? Is this some kind of advanced siren or controlling gadget? This is what made me able to do what I did back then. And I know almost nothing about it. Hmm. This could be something interesting, worth testing out. Can I really do what the boy claims it they're able to do? Not a clue, but the idea of being able to control machines with this device. Since Tyrannus mil military depends on hyper-advanced machines, it could change the course of the war completely. What shall we do? If we want to test it, we should force the boy to show us how to use it. And then we'll, we'll, t we'll take it from him. Nah. No need to, compl to complicate ourselves. Just use his saw and cut the boy's right arm with it. What? Under understood. The lab will be ready when needed. That guy, the Jaren's voice with me, I kind of like did multiple different ones. <laughs> hey, you don't need to cut my entire right arm just to get this device. You know, I could just hand it over. It has caused me enough trouble already. Do not hand the artifact to them. That voice again. Well, well, kid, I just take pleasure in punishing weaklings like you. Besides, this world doesn't need weaklings. It's a world meant for the strong to survive only. And who would cry for some... And who would cry for some nobody like you anyway? He has a point. No one would ever cry for me. Because all of those close to me are gone. In the end, I'm just a weak, 
energy. Someone, please stop this man. Oh. What the? It just broke the damn wall. How did it act so fast? That damn night. I see. It didn't react when we knocked the not the boy unconscious. Because a kid doesn't sense the danger. But this time he did. Meaning the knight only reacts to defend the boy when he senses danger. Knights have always been a huge mystery. No one no wonder it is so unpredictable. Interesting. So now I have a knight with me. Hey, sorry about that. Ralph just re re really hates Tyrant because of his past. That's not what he said. He said that he hated the... There's no... There's no point in hating him for that. Please, just forgive him. This guy. This guy wants me to forgive a man who tried to cut my right arm. A man who treated me like trash. A man who hated me because I wasn't strong enough. Isn't he insulting indirectly? Andrew. He keeps thinking about Andrew. Doesn't leave his mind. So please forgive him. No. Man. People with this mentality never change. Pathetic. Look. We need to look at the situation on a larger scale. Even if we all have different ways of doing, we all share something in common. Something we all have in common. Yes. And that is our hate towards Tyrana. That coming from the mouth of someone telling me to forgive? What are you... No. What are you trying to tell me? What am I trying to say? Join us. Huh? Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> It would seem that you possess, possess something that could help us win the war against Tyrone. That thing you have on your right hand. It can control any electronic devices, right? Including machines, robots, and Tyrone drones. It appears so. Since we know almost nothing about it, how about we try to test it out on a Tyrone rocker? Why not, st why not start with something easier than we at least already have. No, no. There's no point testing it on one of our own device. Because after all, the goal we'll, we have in mind is to take control of the enemy's machines, right? Hee <laughs> hee. So, what do you say? I... I don't know. Hmm. Wouldn't it be for your own good, too? Huh? I mean, don't you want to know more about it yourself, since you are its wielder? I, I guess so. Good. Then we have a divi then we have a deal. Tomorrow we are going to test this device on a walker at a tyrant base. For this time being, just rest in here. This. I can't even make this robot do any precise task. It acts independently and gets my will to protect me. I really don't understand it. What is this? Night? I guess they are going to keep me in the cell after all. Hmm. Oh! And now I'm part of the army. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's see. Alright, so I'm going to have to leave it off for you guys. I hope you dogs enjoyed this episode. And this episode was obviously a much longer episode. And I hope you enjoy it for being longer. And watch the whole video through. Peace out, my dog pack. Bye.